Hello guys, welcome to Wine with Jet, and this week's wine is a really awesome wine that I found at the store today. It is called Layer Cake Jam Packed, and it looks delicious because it has a picture of a strawberry cake on it, and that grabbed my attention immediately, so I knew how to try this wine. I don't really know too much about it. I did some research before I filmed this, and it does, it's in the category of a Cabernet and a Pinot Noir, and some of the flavor notes that they gave were like blueberry, black currant, allspice, a little bit of toasted oak maybe. It was, the research I did was very, it was broad. It didn't really give me a good description of the wine, but nonetheless, we will try this out and we'll get the flavors ourselves here today. So I'm expecting some allspice, I'm expecting a little bit of black currant, some plums, some fruitiness and that, but again, the research was very broad, didn't give a really good description because it's, apparently it's not really a, it's not really a wine you commonly find, I guess. So I was kind of sh shocked that there wasn't much research on it, but it did give me a listing and tell me that it was a Pinot Noir family and a Cabernet family wine. So definitely for pairing this with the cheese, um, a Gouda, a cheddar, something sharp and bitter to go with it. Um, so let's go ahead and swirl our wine and give it, ooh, I, what do I smell? I, I think I smell the allspice. I smell, I smell spice nonetheless. There is spice in this for sure. And I think I'm getting a little bl and black currant for sure. I can, I can sense that. Let's give it a little taste and I'll give you the guys the flavor notes I'm getting and we'll see how this goes. Ooh, that is a smooth wine. Goes down very smoothly. Um, I get a little bit of oak in there, a little bit. It's a hint. It's very subtle, but it's there. I do taste a lot of fruit. I think there's blueberry in there. For some reason, I tasted a little bit of blueberry. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's why I'm getting a lot of fruit berry mixture, like a dark berry mixture, like a blueberry, black currant, blackberry hints in there. The oak is very subtle. You don't notice it really unless you're actually looking for it, which I was looking for it. So I'm like, all right, I do taste a little bit of oak in there, but again, you're getting mostly fruits and a lot of spice mixture in there. It is a very smooth wine. Um, and it suits the category of Cabernet and Pinot Noir, for sure. It's a solidly good red wine. Um, I love, I actually like this so good. Um, I would have this again for sure. And just looking at the bottle and not knowing what was in it and trying this blinded for you guys, not knowing really what I was getting. It's a great suggestion. I'm so glad I saw this on the shelf, you know? I was just going around, I was going into buy Thanksgiving wine, to be honest, and I happened to see this and I was like, oh, this is gonna be a great video. We gotta do this. So, uh, yeah, and this was priced at uh, $12 when I bought it. However, again, other retailers in your area may be higher priced, lower priced, I don't know, but that's just my price point. But it's really solid, good wine. As I always say, guys, I always try to go for $20 and under one of my wines and make them taste great, but be a little budget friendly. I mean, I will occasionally buy a higher end wine if it's like, you know, special occasions, but typically on this channel, I try to go budget friendly. 20 and under is my limit for this channel because I want to make it a budget-friendly wine suggestions for you guys because we're in a pandemic right now and, you know, going out of your way to buy a wine for like $25 isn't exactly really budget-friendly. So if you're looking for a good wine for like maybe a dessert or even like, you know, red meats or whatever, this is the wine. I mean, I'm so excited that I found this. I'm, I'm having a pesto chicken pizza tonight, so hopefully this goes well with it. Um, it's a white meat, so I'm thinking I may have to go for a Pinot Grigio on that perspective, but I definitely am having cheese. I would go for this. So this is a really solid, I rate, I've had layer cake wines before. I believe we reviewed their Melbeck, I think it was, and that was really good. This, I'm going to go with a solid seven. It's great. I mean, it's not the best wine in the world I've ever had, but it is really good, all things considered, for layer cake. Um, so yeah, um, that's my review, guys. That's how I feel about this wine. It's really a smooth wine and it goes down really good. So I would definitely buy this again for sure. Um, if you guys are looking for a wine suggestion tonight, here you go. This is it. This is my red wine choice. Um, thank you so much for watching this lovely video. Hopefully it helped you pick your wine tonight. Um, if it did, hit your like button. Um, and if you want to see more wine reviews from me, hit subscribe. Um, and hit the bell for notifications when I post a wine video, which is usually every Wednesday. 
So uh, yeah, again, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or anything wine related, comment below in the description, comment below, and I'll try to respond to you in a timely manner. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week with a lovely wine-tastic video. Bye guys.